The O'Reilly Factor is on tonight. So many good people, some citizens, maybe many not, but you're all welcome in California today. Is the governor of California breaking federal law by failing to enforce immigration policy? It looks like it, and we'll tell you how it is harming the entire country. A new poll says relations between black and white Americans dropping quickly. Laura Ingram will analyze. Television has and will always be about great storytelling. Also ahead, what's behind the politically correct criticism directed at Sofia Vergara? Martha McCallum and I will debate it. It goes on and 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 on. Caution. You are about to enter the no spin zone. Factor begins right now. Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. How California Governor Jerry Brown is undermining American immigration law. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Very quietly, Governor Brown has created a sanctuary state in California. That is, his state will not cooperate with the feds by enforcing immigration law. Earlier this week, Mexican President Nieto traveled to California and was greeted as a hero by authorities there, even though... Nieto could pardon Marine Sergeant Andrew Tamaresi, who's been in prison in Mexico for six months. But President Nieto will not allow Sergeant Tamaresi freedom, even though he has post-traumatic stress disorder. And as the world knows, the weapons beef against the sergeant is low level, to say the least. Governor Brown was asked about Tamaresi on a radio program. You know, I'm, I'm just getting information on that thing. So, you know, there's lots of issues uh, in both countries uh, because of our the people going there. They're coming here. So I don't think that's something that I'm going to comment on, at least at, on this radio show. Governor Brown just getting information about the sergeant? Hard to believe. But let's get back to immigration law. Here's what Mr. Brown said about that. To be assembled here with the governors, the secretaries, and so many good people, some citizens, maybe many not, but you're all welcome in California today. <laughs> it wasn't very long ago that the governor of California was outlawing driver's licenses for people who are undocumented from Mexico. That's not the law anymore. By allowing folks who sneak in here or overstay their visas legal status to drive, Governor Brown is subverting federal law, as well as undermining comprehensive immigration reform. Talking Points wants, wants a fair new federal immigration law that all states obey. But that's not going to happen as long as people like Jerry Brown disregard current federal policy. That's because in order to get so-called comprehensive immigration reform, there has to be compromise. But the open border people and the amnesty folks will not compromise if they think they can get what they want without securing the southern border. See, that's the big thing, making the southern border impenetrable to illegal aliens, drug smugglers, and terrorists. As long as the feds will not do that, many in Congress will not vote for a pathway to citizenship. Are we all understanding that? First, you secure the border in a very visible way. Then you deal with the millions of illegal people and their children who are already here. That's how you get comprehensive immigration reform passed in Congress. But Governor Brown and others have subverted the entire process. They're saying to everybody, hey, hey, you're welcome in California. Come on in. Simply put, that is insane. We all know why Jerry Brown's doing what he's doing. Votes. About a third of all people living in California were not born in the USA. In addition, illegal immigration is costing the Golden State an estimated $25 billion a year. So what do you have to say about that, Governor Brown? American citizens in your state paying $25 billion because you defy federal law. That's absolutely irresponsible, most likely illegal, and as I said, completely insane. And that's a metal.
Now for the top story tonight, reaction. Joining us from San Diego, Enrique Marones, founder of the group Border Angels. Mr. Marones attended the reception for Mexican President Nieto. And in Washington, Ben Johnson, executive director of the American Immigration Council. First of all, Mr. Johnson, do you believe Governor Brown's just hearing just now about Sergeant Tamaresi? You believe that? I don't know what to believe. I don't know what he's briefed on. I don't, I don't know how many uh, times he's seen the protesters out front. It sounds like it's something he ought to have heard about before well, then, this, I though, mean, To believe sure. that he's just hearing about it, then you'd have to believe he doesn't watch the news in California, local or national news, doesn't read the newspaper, doesn't go online. Um, he's an intelligent man, Jerry Brown. I think he's being disingenuous here. I could be wrong. I'd like to talk to him about it. But come on, let's, let's try to be real here. This is a fairly big story, is it not? It seems to be a, a big story, certainly on, uh, in, in some circles. It's uh, talked about a lot, you know, more than in others, but it's, it is talked about a lot. You'd, you'd think you'd have some, some awareness of it. Now, Governor Brown basically sent a clarion call out to anyone in the world. You know, if you can get to California, we want you here. We'll give you the driver's license. You can get the welfare. Uh, you can get our public school system. We'll pay in-state in college tuition, Mr. Morones. Anybody in the world who gets here can do that. And you say to that... Well, I was there. You weren't there, but uh, but whoa, 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 Governor wait. Brown. That's what he just said. I didn't have to be there. I just heard the soundbite. Go. Right, a soundbite. I think you need to hear the entire speech. It was a great speech. California is a welcoming state. He's encouraging people to go there. Uh, there's a lot of people that were there that were residents that weren't uh, citizens. For example, my mom is a resident, not a citizen. And we have had a tremendous history of migration to California. And it's a great state, the eighth most powerful economy in the world. And if there's a $25 billion cost, like you say, the surplus the, the what people are putting into the state is, is even greater. So you got to have both sides of the no, ledger. That's you not you what can't the, just have uh, one. That's not what the stats say. Now, I uh, do agree, it, well, and to be fair, uh, many illegal immigrants work very hard. They do, some of them, pay Social Security and state taxes. A lot of them don't. Off the book economy. Send the money back to Mexico, as you know, Mr. Morones. Um, is a, our second biggest industry in Mexico, next to oil, is American dollars flowing back into that country. So, yeah, $26 billion dollars going, and Mr. Brown never addresses that, out of the state treasury to support illegal immigration. And he wants more people, more people, to come to the welcoming state of California, Mr. Johnson. It's crazy, is it not? Uh, it's, it's not so crazy. I, no? I, first of all, I, I, it's not. I, I, I'm going to have to agree with Enrique on this. I think the evidence is pretty clear that, I mean, if you're just adding up the cost side, then the numbers are big. But when you compare it to uh, the benefits of immigration, particularly in California, the numbers are much larger. Okay, so both uh, of you it, guys it, say open borders is what you want. Let them come on. No, 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 no. no, no. Neither no, no. of us are saying that. You're saying no. that. Well, you're, well, you're well, 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 I don't understand what? what you're saying, Mr. Johnson. If the benefits well, outweigh, you a chance to finish. <laughs> outweigh the tax money going out, all right, and Mr. Brown has issued an invitation to everybody in the world to come to his state. It seems that he doesn't want anybody to be hindered, Mr. Johnson, or am I wrong? No, what it means is that uh, I, I think you want to create an, uh, your, your support for comprehensive immigration reform, which I, I, I think is laudable, uh, is a recognition that what we need is an immigration system that's designed to maximize the value of immigration that's been happening in the United States. But you States. have to do it so, in an orderly manner, and he's not. Uh, the governor uh, is not. Now, uh, Mr. Moreno, I, you, 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 I know where you're coming from, and I know you want a humane policy, but you don't want, Mr. Moronis, you yourself do not want a secure border. You don't don't want to stop the people from coming here. I mean, don't you no, say, that's don't what, you think that's, that's a little... That's what you say. That's what you say, but that's not true. The border has never been more secure. We have more people actually going south than north. Mexican migration is 40% down. We are no longer the largest group of un, of, un, of So what would you do to stop that? All of that is your opinion. It's not... I would do, you, missed, you missed, I guess, the kids coming in here to the tune of 100,000 unaccompanied uh, minors coming in here in, in this fiscal year. But what would well, you do, Mr. Morones? First of all, what first would of you all, do, we, Mr. Morones? Bill, we, we, what would we you do rules. to stop people from coming Coming in here illegally, what? Well, for, well first of all, there's not a hundred thousand. It's, it's closer what to sixty thousand. What would you 000. do, Mr. Morales? Last chance, sir. Last chance. Well, what would you the do same way you to came stop in. it? When, you, when your forefathers and foremothers came right, in, there you was no illegal way to come. All right, Mr. Morales. So today we, we want to have a legal tonight. way to come. We, we appreciate Most of you. them are not coming. We appreciate your time. And, and, and the sergeant, Mr. Johnson, what yes, would you do to stop people from coming in here illegally? 
Well, I think, as, you know, I've been in Washington 15 years, and for 15 years, really all we have done is more enforcement at the border. So my, my concern is that the enforcement strategies we've had now have been heavy-handed, aimed at but what political would you symbols do? like fences. What so would what, you I would, do? what I would do is I would uh, develop smarter enforcement strategies. Like Inf what? I, I think we need more uh, worksite enforcement strategies. I think we need more enforcement strategies that are aimed at those folks that are a real threat to our communities. Right, I think you're, you're you need generalizing, on top of, sir. You know you generalize. You get, don't have well, anything, you know, and Mr. Morona doesn't have anything. You don't uh, have any inhibiting. Let's, you have no inhibiting program to stop the massive amount of people coming in. Absolutely, I'll give I you do. one and more what it involves, what it involves is a good enforcement policy backed up by a, a, a strategy to allow people yeah. that we want and need to come to the country legally. Okay, guys, you've, you've, you've supported that. I have plans. They're posted on BillOReilly.com. They're very specific. Something neither of you gentlemen have. I absolutely. So you can go to immigrationpolicy.org. One footnote. We invited Governor Brown on the program this evening. He could not make it. We extend the invitation to him anytime he wants. He's been on before. He's a good guest, but I have a lot of questions for him. Next on the rundown, Laura Ingram will comment on the California situation and the decline of civility between black and white Americans. Later, how will President Obama go down in history when compared to other American presidents? Factors coming right back.